Hello, Not Elites Nation. Chad here, aka Abner, bringing you some gaming news that mattered to me the most. Now let's go ahead and get you filled in. The 18 minute No Man's Sky video over at IGN. If you have not seen this, you need to click down below and take a look at this video. It is just mind blowing what an indie company can actually do with a video game. I just, I am super excited for this and I hope you are too. The thing is about it, it just gives you unlimited amount of things you can do. The universe is endless and you can go through and you explore things that are just amazing, amazing. You can go through and explore something and you can name it yourself. Now, not gonna lie, it's gonna be kinda interesting to see what they actually do with this because I'm a little afraid of the type of names that we're gonna see on this. Doug? The next thing I wanna talk about is Project Ascension. Now, this is gonna give you the ability to go through and have a multi-platform system on your PC. With that being said, this allows you to go through and have Steam, Origin, Uplay, and anything else that your library is sitting on. This is going to give you a full range of abilities of playing your games in one location. That is crazy and amazing all in one. The other thing that this is going to do is, is it's going to go through and give you the ability to go searching for games and finding the best price through all these different locations. Who wouldn't want that? Next thing is Journey. If you have not heard, Journey was a game that was on the PS3 and it was an amazing RPG. This was developed by an indie company that really had no dialogue, no nothing. You just basically took this character and it was kind of a puzzle in a way along with RPG aspects and you follow the sun and you tried getting closer to it. It was awesome. It's hard to explain something that has no dialogue and really nothing else except visuals to say it is awesome, but you have to see the game and play it to understand. With the port to PS4, this just gives it that much more of a visual aspect that is just amazing. The screenshots that I've seen of this is beautiful. And if you have not tried this game, you need to. The nice thing is, is if you did own it on the PS3, you will get it on the PS4. This does come available at least what I'm reading July 21st. So go ahead and take a look at your PSN if you already own it and see if you can download it. If not, I highly recommend purchasing it. The next thing I want to talk about is Dragon Age Inquisition. The DLC that is going to be coming out next is only next gen. So unfortunately, you old gen people are SOL. You know, to be honest, I think it's the Patriots fault. The screenshots that I've seen of it though, looks amazing. So if you have not jumped to that next gen yet, I highly recommend it if you want to continue with your storyline in Dragon Age. The last and final thing for today is that today the PSN and Xbox free games have dropped. So if you have not gone over to either one of your systems or both your systems and checked out your free games, you better get out there and download them. Finally, follow us on Twitter at Non Elites. We go through and we post news and at any point when we're on Twitch. Don't forget to sub and give us a thumbs up for the video. Every little bit helps. Until next time guys, you have been filled in. Thanks for watching everybody. I had a lot of fun filming this. If you have any feedback, please leave it down below. Also, I did not notice until after I was editing this that I said amazing a lot of times. So I'm kind of curious. How many times did I actually say it? See you guys.